In memory of Dame Barbara Windsor, 1937 to 2020. do a favourites video because we've not done one since February and I was thinking I don't have to have gone out and bought loads of stuff to do a favourites video I'll just tell you what's my favourite at the moment um, it's the 11th of December and we woke up this morning to the sad news that Barbara Windsor's died um, so first thing this morning I dug out her autobiography all about me I bought this when it came out 20 years ago and you can tell by the state of the book that I've read it to death um, and I'm going to read it again and I think we'll watch Carry On Camping later because kids like that one in honour of her um, but I do love this book it starts off when she's born in 1937 it's a little bit about when she was evacuated as a kid during World War II then going going to stage school as a child, working in the theatre in the 1960s, um, carry on films when she worked in EastEnders, lots of personal things that happened to her, um, there's lots of lovely pictures in it and she's the same age as my grandma, my grandma was born in 1937 as well. Um, this so. This book ends on a high, she's just got married to her husband, her third husband, who was still a husband when she died um, last night, and um, she just got an award from the Queen, so it ends on a really high note, so it's really sad to think that 20 years after this she died in a care home of Alzheimer's, but in another way that's what's so great about books, I mean all these memories had been lost to her by the time she died because of her illness but they're all in here yeah I need to put some sellotape in it because some of the some of the pictures are falling out because I've read it so much so I'm going to be reading that uh, rest in peace Barbara Windsor so I'm going to be reading Barbara Windsor all of me my extraordinary life I'm going to be reading that again I'm into knitting at the minute I have fits and bursts with it sometimes I do lots of knitting sometimes I don't um, I did knit Pinky a cardigan, my three year old, This, but I knitted this a few weeks ago, it's been washed and stuff that's why it's a bit. <laughs> so, because I knitted her that and she looks lovely in it, Bod, Bod, my four year old, wanted me to knit him something. So I knitted Bod this cardigan, oh wrong way, and what I did was, I knitted two right sides by accident. So the left side I've had to put on upside down, which you can't tell now, but you could at the time because on the wrong side up, that's where you put all your tats and loose bits of thread and your knots. So I had to put these three motifs, um, the Santa one, fire engine and tractor over the tats. But then I thought there's three, three motifs this side, I put three this side at the top. So I put a digger, um, my mind's gone. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> and a lorry there. And then I put all these random buttons on it. I think it looks really nice. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased it went well even though I messed this bit up. You can't tell now. Um, and Bod said he thought it was really nice. But he doesn't want to wear it. I don't know if he doesn't want to wear it because he doesn't want to mess it up. Or if he doesn't like it as much as he says he likes it. But he said, I'm a bit upset he won't wear it. Hopefully I change his mind and he'll wear it because I was quite proud of that. All these motifs by the way I bought in a box from Amazon. Um, about £2 I got about 12 motifs which is really good value. And I sewed them on because I haven't got an eye again so I couldn't iron them on. Um, I'm knitting Pinky a bonnet now. A woolly bonnet. It's not finished so excuse the thing. I haven't got a pattern. I'm making it up so I didn't buy any wool because I thought if I mess this up and I haven't bought the wool, it doesn't matter. It's just the tat ends of other things. That's the back. And the idea is, I'm knitting the frill that goes round, goes round a red. And the idea is that I'll have like a, a bow at the bottom to tie it at the bottom when it goes on a red. It'll look nicer on. I don't want to stretch it. It'll be like that on a red. <laughs> anyway, like that. To keep her nice and warm. <laughs> Um, Pudge, my oldest, is, uh, t is was 10 last month, he's boy, but he likes knitting. 
I got him this kit for his birthday last month. I thought it was a knit your own fox because it looks like a fox. But it says on the box it's a red panda. But Pudge says we'll just make it a fox. And Pudge has knitted the head so far. That's what my ten year old has done. He's um, working on the ears next. And I got... You'll see from a previous previous video that I got some gloves from charity shop for kids. Um, they're like fingerless. But when you don't want them to be fingerless you put the bit over the end like that. And if, and if you want it fingerless you pin that bit back. And then it looks like a Christmas tree. How nice is that? And uh, they're a favourite because the kids have been wearing them and they haven't lost them yet. And they've been keeping their hands warm. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was they've been selling these snow trousers in Aldi and so far I've only managed to get a pair for Pinky because that's the only size that I've seen but I keep looking for sizes for the boys because they do blue ones as well but they're like dungarees but they're waterproof and they're fleecy inside keep the water and Pinky wore these on a walk the other, other day to woods when it was really cold and they kept her nice and warm and when she fell in a puddle her legs were still dry because they were waterproof and they fit a nice under a coat so they show you them now and the last thing Christmas is coming so we bought every year we do this we buy cheeselets and twiglets to put away for christmas and say we're not eating these because they're for christmas and then we, we end up eating them and i'm to buy some more i don't like twiglets everybody else in the house does i like cheeselets though um the co-op are selling them at one pound fifty saying it's half price it's not half price it might be half price by co-op prices because i bet they would sell something like this for three quid each because they're dead expensive aren't they but everywhere else they are £1.50 anyway, but I said to the husband, because the co-op's nearer than anywhere else that sells them, I said, so we might as well just get them from the co-op while they're selling them at half price, which is the actual price, because we keep eating them, even though they're for Christmas. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't show you any of the things I've been buying, because they're for Christmas. I don't really understand, I'm not... I'm not, I'm not calling people who do it, but I don't really understand this thing of doing videos of stocking fillers and videos of what you got your kids for Christmas. Because, aren't you worried your kids are going to see it? And, it? and also, you know, wrapping things for me, huh? you have to do it quite stealth, don't you, so the kids don't know. I couldn't sit here holding stuff up talking about it, they'd hear. But that's the stuff, my favourite stuff anyway, the knitting... Barbara Windsor, God bless her, she's going to read a book. Uh, the snow trousers, cheeselets, twiglets. Can't remember if I said anything else. So, just a quick one today, I just wanted to show you that. I've got an itch, I've not got an itch. Um, so, oh. <laughs> I'll see you next time for my new video, bye bye.